I'm just not together for this video. I'm just, I'm just not. I'm just not together. Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Um, Stitch Life back at it. My name is Stushy for everybody that doesn't know me. And today's video, it's going to be nice, quick, simple, sweet, short, nothing too crazy. It's going to be about um, all the products that I've accumulated, all the makeup products that I've accumulated in the last month or so. This is a mini haul, if you want to call it that. It's products from the Fenty Beauty Launch, products from Target, products from Marshalls, online products. And yeah, so if you're interested in watching, stay tuned. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that button. Smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button. I'm going to start off with, um, let's see. I'm going to start off with Target products. Target products. The first product that I got from Target was this Violet Boss Lash. I've already used them, so I apologize if you can't really see the lash. Try to get it. All right, that one just won't come down. But I'll show you this one. It's the Violet Boss Lash. It looks like that. It looks like that. This is in the, the style I Do Not Care. Cute, cute name. And I paid, I want to say, around $10 for this. If you hear noises in the background, it's my roommate. She's not respecting the fact that I'm filming a video. So, that's whatever. You know, we're just going to be peachy about it and keep it moving. So, Violet Voss Lash. And then the next product that I got from Target were these two Embryolis moisturizing creams. They look like this. This product was, like, really big, I want to say, maybe a year ago. Um, in the makeup industry, can you see it? It was really big in the makeup industry. They arranged, I think, $28 for the full size product. These are the miniature ones, like travel size ones. And I've always wanted to try them. So I purchased them. This is what it looks like. So, again, pardon the background noise. I purchased them. This is what it looks like. Um, I paid $4.97 for this. And it originally was $9.95. $10 for this little old thing. And I paid basically $5 for it. It's a steal. It's a deal, and I'm happy to have it. I'll let you guys know how it works out. So these are my two Target products. This Violet Floss Lash was nine, around nine, ten dollars, um, and it is a full mink lash. But these are sold typically in Sephora, but I found it in um, Target, so I'm guessing they're having a collab for. Oh, I'm highlighted. How you doing, girl? How you, how you doing, girl? It's a little hot, but I highlight is there she's there and I'll get into the highlight shortly okay so my next product is from Marshall's I've been trying to find this product for the longest time I figured I might um, be able to find it in like the natural section in Target but I didn't see it there I figured maybe I'd have to order it from online or go to like a GMC or something like that so the next product is this pure rose hip seed oil if you saw my um, what was my last video about good god if you saw my skincare routine right um, you see the products that I use. I use a ton of products that are already infused with rose water or rose oil or petals, whatever. So I've been trying to find this pure rose hip seed oil because I've heard great things about it. I've heard, heard that it helps to um, get rid of dark spots on the face and I have some dark spots here. I don't know if you could see it through my makeup. But I heard great things about it. So it's supposed to be applied onto the fingertips and applied into dry, cleansed skin. And it is 100% rose oil with some vitamin E which is also great for um, skin nature and it's yeah all that good stuff so this I paid for $59 for at Marshall's girl and it's a hundred percent organic I need to go back and find some more of these because it comes in a droplet bottle so it comes like this and the droplet bottle so you just you know Stick it out and you can um, apply it right to the face with the droplet or like to your fingertips and massage it in. So I'm happy about that. I need to be on the lookout because I need some more of these. Like I plan to use this in my routine. That's a steal. Four dollars. What else did I get from Marshalls? Huh. Next product that I... Oh, this is what I got from Marshalls. Duh. So the next product that I got from Marshalls is this Lorac Tantalizer. It's a baked bronzer, but girl, I use this. I'm chocolate. Do you see this highlight? 
This one is unopened. I paid $6.99 for it, but I've been purchasing this for years now. It's predominantly sold at Sephora. You can find it at Ulta. And it ranges, this ranges for $12.99 in stores, but I got it for $6.99. As you can see, it's like nice and rounded. This is the one that I currently still have, and it lasts me a daggone long time, girl. Look, it's like I'm damn near touching pan. It's bomb, okay? So I saw it, I saw oh yeah. I need me a backup. So when this one finishes, I have this one. It's $6.99 for that. Thank you, Marshall. Then, I'll talk about this one product that I got online. It is a new lash company. My friend actually is the CEO of the company. And it is Her Mink Co. 3D Mink Luxury Lashes. So look at the case for these lashes. Aren't they pretty? It's a baby doll pink case. And this is in the style Ava Ava, which is a pretty, pretty, really pretty name. Nice and fluttery, nothing too crazy. They look really nice and light. And I'm, I can't wait to use these, honestly. So it has a little string part where you could just pop these right out and you can apply them that way. So really cute company, really cute. I can't wait to use these. I went to the NYX store in New York City and I ran in and I purchased this Vivid Brights pink um, liner. It is in the shade Vivid Petal, and it's light pink. It's like a light pink color. And I'll swatch it for ya. I can't wait to do some amazing things with this. I need to use it in the, in the summer. Look at that. Yeah, I know I live for pink. Look at that pink liner. Pretty. Pretty. So I purchased this. This, this was $7 for this um, pink eyeliner. And I can't wait to use it. Look forward to using it in some upcoming tutorials, maybe. So that's what I got from NYX and I also purchased this brush that I've heard great things about. I'm a brush junkie, like super brush junkie. Look at this. Not done yet, not done. Look at this. So I got another one to add to my collection. This is the a buffing brush. So you can use it to apply foundation. This was $17, a little steep price for an NYX brush. Then last but not least, I know this is what y'all here for. Y'all shady as hell. That's why I'm waiting, making y'all wait till the end. So yeah, I can see the fancy products. So yeah, I know what I'm doing. I did go to the Fenty pop-up shop in New York City. As soon as you walk in, they give you this booklet. And inside, there are all the products that are at the pop-up shop. And you get to go in and like check off the products that you want. And then towards the end, at the cash out section, they take the booklet and they give you all the products. And you pay for it and you get out. So, I purchased two things from the Fenty pop-up shop. The first thing that I purchased was the Cuz I'm Black um, wing liner. It's a fly liner, eyeliner. So I have a pink eyeliner now from NYX. And I, ooh, this dries down mad. It's not on. Uh, it is a felt tip liner. You can see it's really nice and precise, actually. I already used this and it's amazing. It does not move, though. I will tell you that. It is a waterproof eyeliner and it, that girl does not move. So I'll swatch it for you. Look at that. Matte black. Matte black. I'll tell you in a few minutes. I didn't really pay attention to what it dried down to, but I know it didn't move. This was twenty-two dollars. Twenty-two dollars. Um, I think it's gonna last me a pretty long time. I don't really do eyeliner as much. I used to a lot, but nowadays I just throw on some lashes and walk out the house. But I'll probably be using this more often. Last but not least, I got a kilowatt. Fenty kilowatts. This is in Sangria Sunset and Mimosa Sunrise. This one came out already, but I um, wanted to try it out because the colors are beautiful. Look at that. So I'm going to swatch these. This one is Mimosa Sunrise, this orange shade. And the swatch is like that. You could probably use for eyeshadow. And then, whoa, things are dropping. Relax. Then I got Sangria Sunset, and I'll swatch that right next to it. Look at that, girl. I feel that in the soul. That is nice. And then it also has more of a metallic interior. You see, it's more like a metallic um, mirror interior. Compared to her other kilowatt, this one has a white interior. It's not as reflective. Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. So yeah. So these are the things that I purchased. If you like this video, please remember to thumbs it up. 
right down there. Please remember to subscribe and let me know what you want to see next. If you guys want to get any of these products, um, I'll put the link down below. If you have some of these products, let me know down below in the comment section. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles. Neck is important. Is that it? That's the first layer, right? I don't like to go in with another layer. This is around $15 to $16. Dollars.